Don't tell me you forgot about Dark Magician. I know they got hit hard by the nerf, but we are using Dark Magician with the most broken stick in chair. Draw three, pop one, triple, rank four, exceed. Let's go. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at him. Let's go. What is the stick and chair combo? It is wild. It's probably the most powerful card combo of Yu-Gi-Oh! That's only a two card combo. That's what makes it so powerful because it's only two. What's the two card combo? You need the scepter and the chair in your hand. Now, the scepter could search the chair, but then you don't have the combo. You need the chair in the hand and the scepter in the hand then you search a second chair, and what that will do is you'll end up summoning both chairs onto the field, the one in the hand and the one you searched. You'll draw two from that happening, and then you're gonna perform a rank four exceed with triple level fours. And then on the summon of that rank four exceed, you're gonna pop any card in the field, including your own if you want to, and then you'll draw a third card. So that's a pop one, draw three, and make a rank four exceed. Use whatever rank four you have. That's three level four monsters. It has to be three level four monsters. So 10 Archduke, Deltros is good. The rank four, three level four monster, Illuminite is good. Ouroboros is gonna be good. So use Ouroboros to discard from your opponent's hand at the start of the turn. That's all good. Before we get to the Dark Magician part of the deck, I took out the Lances because you could put whatever you want. People are playing Karma Cut. Just play something that you could activate on your opponent's turn so that you could trigger the effect of the Dark Illusion to summon during your opponent's turn. Pretty good. You want, you could play two Dark Illusion. I'm liking Kaiku plus a Dark Illusion and keeping the deck at 20 cards. And then the rest of the deck is just Dark Magician. What is there to say? This is the Dark Magician combo. You could take out a navigation for a rod. So you could have one rod, two navigation, but circle can't add rod but Rod can add Circle, and it does take up your normal summon. So hold up, let's go back to the skill real quick. See you later helps with that ultimate Star Seraph combo. So if you summon the Scepter to search the chair, you activate See You Later to return the Scepter, and then you have that draw three pop one combo for the next turn. That is why you wanna play See You Later. See You Later is also good with the navigation, can only be activated if you have two open spots on the field. So if you have two monsters, return one, then navigate, and that's great. So what is the combo if you're unfamiliar with this? It is the Triforce. You need a navigate, a circle, a dark magician. Circle can add the dark magician or the navigate within the top three cards of your deck when activated. Then with navigate, you summon a dark magician from the hand and a dark spell caster from the deck. That will trigger the effect of the circle its second effect, to banish a card in the field. Then with Navigate in the Grave, not the turn it was sent to the Grave, it could banish itself to negate any back row card. So with a set Navigate Circle and a Dark Magician, you're going to banish their monster, very likely in their end phase. Your Navigate will negate whatever their back row is, and you're gonna have over 4,000 damage because you summon two Dark Magicians or with a Kaiku or with a Dark Illusion. If you want to rank seven exceed, make a Gaia. Gaia could pierce through any defense, so if they have zero defense. 2600 also makes room for your navigation. Kaiku prevents your opponent from banishing cards from either player's graveyard. If you don't have it, not a big deal. You could put in another Dark Illusion. And if you're missing a navigation, put in a Rod. And that is pretty much the deck besides, you know, Dark Illusion. If you activate a card effect, a spell, or trap while it's on the field with a Dark Magician in the grave, you could then summon the Dark Magician from the grave, which could be another way to trigger the effect of your circle. That is the deck, stick in chair with Dark Magician. We got the scepter, give me a chair. Got the stick, we just need a chair. A stick without the chair, or a chair without a stick, is nothing. It's useless. Okay, no chair. What you got, boy? It's got grit. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Come on. 
Give me a Dark Magician after we summon the Seraph Scepter first. Scepter into chair. Circle into nothing. Are you serious? What the heck? Okay, we're good. We good! Get back to the hand. Let's go. Let's go. This is it. This is it. Focus. I'll use this. I special summon a monster. Battle. You stand no chance. Radus. The only one going down is you. My turn. Jewel. I draw. Stick. Activate. Chair. Activate. Pay attention to my draws. Draw one. Draw two. Shark attack. Shark attack. Right. What? We've drawn two. I mean, he's got, he's got the, the grit, the grit, the grit, but it don't matter. Pop it. Draw three. Attack! <laughs> My monster attacks. <gasps> oh Jesus! My monster's effect activates. Let's go. Check out my set card. I activate a trap. <laughs> special summon a monster. Double dark magician. Double uh, just the dark illusion. Let's go. Manish! The Fool! Attack! Attack! Grit. Holding on by a hair. One life point left. Okay. Negate! Fool! The stick and chair drew three, popped one, gave us a shark attack. That's a scoop! That's a wrap! Back to Fortnite! Do I accept Bitcoin donations? Oh, yeah. I guess I gotta grab my Bitcoin address. My five dollars of Bitcoin is now like a hundred bucks. Cool. You could add to that. He bought them when Tesla were at 90, now they're over 800. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let's summon the stick and add the chair. Now, let's get circling. No dark magician. Not Q. 
Not Q indeed. Set one navigation. In the turn. Thank you, Bang Keys, for making it the best on Twitch. Yo, I just entered the meta freakly. If you're wondering if there is another dual room tournament, join the meta freakly. We do two dual room tournaments a week and two meta freaklies a week. Two and two. Hop in them. Abuse them. Use them. The free money's there. Banish it. Roland! This is it. This is it. Let's decide what we do before we pop off the music. We have the stick. We have the chair. Let's go. Activate. Activate. This hand represents how many cards we're drawing. One. Three pop a card, give the good suck. <laughs> I have to my monsters effect. Thank you. Ready to leave. Fool. I'm embarrassed to show my face to my partner. As Kaibacorp's VP, being a great duelist is part of the job. Is that a stick and a chair at the same time in the opening hand? Yes, it is. We stick in, we chair in. Let's go. Watch the hand. The hand is how many cards we are drawing. That's a draw one. Focus. 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 That's a draw too. But can we draw more? Can there be more to our draw? There's more. There is more where that came from. Let's make a Tin Arc Duke. The Duke is here. Activate. Destroy. That's a draw three. That's a triple draw. After drawing three, it's nearly a guarantee to have a navigation within the top three. We're going to have it. What I say? What did I say? Without the draw three, this would have not been possible. Not possible. Let's go. Toggle on. Check. Check it. We'll check the last deck. He's got no quick plays, no cosmic, no nothing. Shh, meta. Okay. I'll banish you no matter what. We had the ultimate stick and chair combo. There's nothing that could stop us. Draw three in a circle, navigate. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? You are out of your mind. Let's go. As if. Kaiku is here. Activate the circle. Banish the fool. 
You know the rest. My turn is complete. I draw. Chair in the hand. Let's go. Oh. You can't take it from my tin arc duke. Oh. Just like that. What a fool.